Welcome to Two Minutes with Chetan Henry. On today's podcast, I'm excited to bring to you the principle of walking into the Word of God. In other words, being overshadowed by the Word which brings the action of God in your life. I know it sounds very heavy, but let me give you a scripture from the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 39. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. You see, after the angel announced the word of the Lord, Mary agreed to the word of the Lord and said, Let it be unto me according to the word of the Lord. But after that, the Bible does not record what happened after that immediately. But I do believe there was a season of Mary entering into the word of the Lord. She had to be overshadowed by the word of the Lord. There is a word called epikaizo, meaning overshadowed by the mighty, the power of the Most High overshadowing her. That had to happen to her and she had to come under it and allow the work of the Holy Spirit to bring the divine seed of God to be conceived in her virgin womb, which was an impossible task. But she had to make it possible by entering into the word of the Lord in her life. Also, in the book of Psalms 105.39, the Bible says, He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light by night. This is symbolic, similarly to what happened with Mary. As Mary was entering the promise of God, the Holy Spirit overshadowed her. In the same way, when Israelites left Egypt, they were going towards the promised land. The Holy Spirit of God overshadowed them in the form of a cloud during day and in the form of fire during night. Meaning, for those who are walking into the promises of God, God manifests himself supernaturally in a way that he can overshadow them and cover them. But this is going to happen only if you have made up your mind to walk into the word of the Lord. Like Mary said, let it be unto me according to your word. So I pray that you will make up your mind that let it be unto me according to the word of the Lord in my life. And you enter into it. Well. I know you're blessed by this revelation. I pray that you'll walk into the word of the Lord in your life. God bless you.